Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Recently, I came across a website where you can, you know, you can practice product-based companies, fine companies, SQL questions for free, right? It is really intuitive website. Today, I, I will I will be solving a LinkedIn question from this website to show you how you can use it. And the best part is it is free. There is no cost. You just sign up and you can start practicing it. Practicing it. You don't need any setup. You can practice it directly from from the website. Let me show you one question today and try it yourself. I, I will put the link in the description box as well as in the text comments. So try it yourself and let me know how you like the website. Okay, so I will be show, uh, solving a LinkedIn question. LinkedIn Power Creators part 2. Okay, so here's the question. The LinkedIn creator, te creator team is looking for power creators who use their personal profile as a company or influencer page. Right. So this is the area where there will be a description of the problem. You can see all the tables, input tables and the output table as well. This is the example output, right? You can submit it. You can track your progress. You can run code, submit code. Currently it supports Postgres SQL. In future, it may come up with other platform as well. Okay. You can share, you can see the solution, you can discuss it and you can see the submissions as well. Okay. So let's start again. The LinkedIn creator team is looking for power creators who use their personal profile as a company or influencer page. If someone's LinkedIn page has more followers than the company they work for, we can safely assume that that person is a power creator. So basically what they are saying, there is a person, they are, they are LinkedIn influencer and they might work for like, I, I'm in I'm a LinkedIn influencer. I have 50k followers, like, and I work for four or five companies. If my number of followers are more than number of followers of the company's page like i work for deloitte infosys ibm amazon if my followers are more than all of these companies then i am a power creator so we have to write a query to list all the power creators so i have put these tables in excel to explain you easily okay so this is personal profile so they are individual people right profile id name and followers so for example one nick singh he has 92000 followers it, it can be i can enter my name seven Ankit Bansal and 50,000, right? So this is how this table is. This is a master trail. Okay. Then we have employee company. So basically each of these company worked in which companies. So for example, personal profile ID one, one has worked for company ID four and nine, right? Now these company has their own pages, right? On LinkedIn. And this is the number of followers. Right. So we have to tell all the personal profiles whose number of followers are more than number of followers of all the company they have worked for. So Nick Singh, if he has worked for four and nine, four and nine is this and this, this and this, which is 200 and 4479 and his followers are 92,000. So he's a power creator. So we need Nick Singh in the output, right? Similarly, profile ID two. If you see this guy worked for company two, ALVNB. Right, Airbnb have 700,000, right? And this guy has only two lakhs. So this is not qualified. So this is how we have to write a query to get the power creators. So what we will do, I will explain in Excel first how what we will do and then I will write a SQL for that. So what we will do, we first, we will join these two tables, right? And for each person, we will get for each company, how many followers are there. So for example, I will join it and get the followers. So one, Four followers are to 200, right? Similarly, one, nine and nine followers are four, four, seven, nine. Similarly, I will get followers for each of these companies in front of, in front of personal profile ID, company ID and this, and then for each personal profile ID, I will take the max of followers. So if the number of followers of individual is more than max of all the companies they have worked for, right? I will take max of all of the companies they have worked for, if it is more than that, then obviously it will be more than all the companies they have worked for. Okay. So first I will join with this, get the max of followers and then compare and will join back with this table and compare if it is more than individual followers or not. Okay. So let's move on to the solution. So what we have to do, we have to join employee company and company pages. So I will say select star from, you can copy the names from here as well, right? Employee company. PC in a join 
you have to join with this employee com uh, employee company right employee company with company pages so we have to get the followers in our join company pages cp on ec dot ec dot personal profile id let's copy this or company id i have to join on company id right ec dot company id so here we were joining with company id right so ec dot company id equal to cp dot company id right and that's how i will get ec dot personal profile id comma cp dot followers and let's take cp dot for the understanding cp dot cp dot uh, company name okay i will take name so i am taking just three columns and i am going to show you what it is coming so i will run the code so this is what we got in the output so here you can see the output also whatever query you are running just run it and you will see so you will see personal profile id 1 worked for this company and this company and these were the followers 200 4479 similarly for personal profile id 2 we have this one for three this guy worked for two companies so we have this one now for each personal profile id i will get the max followers right so this is the max followers for any company they have worked for so i'll just say group by personal profile id right and i will just remove this name name is not required and we'll take max of followers as max followers right and let me run this now so we have got that profile id 1 whoever company has worked for the maximum followers were 4479 out of all the companies two we have this much three we have this much so we have got maximum followers now what we have to do we have to join it back with the personal profiles and see if the followers are more for these individuals right so what i have to do i will just create a ct with ct as this right select from now we need this table personal profiles pp right inner join ct on pp dot profile id equal to now in this table we will have only one row for each profile id right so we can directly just join it ct dot this right and let's tag the followers so what i'll do i'll say uh, name pp dot name comma pp dot followers comma ct dot max followers let's see what is the output and then we will put the filter condition so we have got the output now that nixing has 92000 followers and max followers for any company has worked for is 4479 similarly for each one right now what i will do i'll just put a condition where pp followers should be greater than max followers so those will be the power creators run code and we have got these people those these four people now if i so in the output they are expecting just just a profile id so i'll just remove everything and just keep the profile id so pp dot profile underscore id and i will remove everything else just run once if it is running fine yeah we have got the profile id and then you can submit if you submit and if your answer is correct it will just return accepted right if it is not correct then you will get an error right so this is a very good website you can try yourself check out from the description box how you can use it and try few questions there are a lot of questions if i go back to questions there are questions from different company linkedin facebook tesla 
right new york times adobe paypal you can try it yourself and they are they have the difficulty level also easy medium hard the one we solved is medium difficulty so try some hard problems i will be solving few more questions in the future from this website so try it and let me know how is your experience thanks for watching have a good day